guys welcome to another video this is on the iPhone 5s there it is in all its glory um, it's uh, the same but different according to some bloggers um, if you see a little gray up there I took my glass screen protector off and, and put it back on I had to get some dust off from under just to start with so anyway um, the same but different um, is what some people are saying some people are saying it's the best thing since sliced bread. Some people are saying, nah, you know, it's okay. Uh, let's look at the hardware. I do have the Spigen glass screen protector on there, just so you know. Uh, there's the hardware. You already know the specs. If you don't, you probably need to go ahead and hit gsmarina.com. It's one of my favorite sites for getting info. So is it the same or is it different? Um, for those of you that bought the iPhone 5C, you might feel like it's a lot different because you get the choice of a color, it's plastic. Um, some people are saying it's just the best plastic in the world. I feel, I've actually used the 5C and uh, it feels just like every other plastic phone. But the iPhone 5S, I will give it props in a few areas. Props to the consistency of Apple with uh, the operating system. Whoa, did I put it too low? Yeah, I think I put it too low. Props to Apple for the consistency in the operating system and making it a stable operating system. No one can deny that Apple has put together a great operating system. Okay, wait, let's rephrase that. No one can deny that Apple's operating system is one of the greatest uh, that has ever done it. And it's very, very stable, very stable. Windows Phone 7 to me is a much smoother operating system, but Apple's iOS is it's uh, definitely taken a turn and it's not because of iOS 7 it's just the operating system itself it just keeps getting better and better does it have anything to do with the processor in this device I don't think so uh, the 64-bit I don't think so because it still only has one gig of RAM so 64-bit is normally for a lot higher 8 gigs of RAM and things like that but hey applause to Apple for for trying something new um, but it's, it's not new but for putting it in this phone I'll say up the RAM though, give us give us two or three gigs of RAM, and we'll be happy. Um, but the operating system itself is very well built, and I don't think anyone can deny that this operating system is really nice. Web browsing is just it's really good. Um, it does a good job with with no crashes and things like that. Um, this is this is a full website. It's a Sam Mobile, one of my favorite sites. If you don't know, check them out. Um, they bring all the Samsung news, but um, as far as fluidness, I think the pinch to zoom is something that Apple has really mastered. A lot of other devices have that feature, and right now, uh, obviously, the Galaxy S4 and the Galaxy Note 3 obviously are blazing fast. But you know, I have to admit, at one point or another, it was just uh, I felt like Windows Phone 7 was much better than than Android in a lot of ways, and uh, WebOS definitely is an operating system that just didn't get a chance but Apple somehow has really mastered the the pinch to zoom feature and the fluidness in their operating system um, it's, it's one to be reckoned with it's a really nice operating system and I think this is where it wins over a lot of people with the operating system w in which it should because people don't go around showing off their hardware all the time Ooh, look at my hardware they don't they don't care about that uh, the operating system is one that you know, it's it's a really solid operating system. I, I can't deny it. Um, it's it's really sweet. It's um, very fluid. Web browsing is good. Music and video playback is good. There are some features that I think it should adapt, uh, start something new, or you know, I shouldn't say start something new. Do what the other operating systems are doing. Like give me the choice to not play everything in the music player that the default music player. That's something that I'm really big on. That's where I think the Z10 really wins. Um, and Android wins uh, but um, overall I mean web browsing music video playback it is just phenomenal on this device um, those are some wins for iOS battery life on the iPhone 5s and I'm only gonna cover a few things I don't want to make a long drawn-out video because there are tons of videos out there that give you this long spill on iPhone 5 on the iPhone 5s and how, how great it is and I'm not going to bore you like that. I'm not going to do that to you because you, you, you've seen them all. But shout out to my supporters. I appreciate it. Uh, battery life on the iPhone 5S is it's just like the other ones. You know, Even though it has a little bit bigger battery, 
the 50, 56, uh, 1560 in this one and 1440 in the other one. And to be honest, I think my iPhone 5 on iOS 6, the battery lasts longer than this battery on iOS 7. Um, I really do. Um, I find myself, now granted, let's give you a better example. This lasts all day in most situations. And when I say all day, I mean a work day, not 24 hours. Um, I mean a work day. It, it can last. So um, it, it'll make it through your day. But you're, this phone is no exception. You're going to have to charge it. The only phone that I was able to do that with was the first Galaxy Note. That phone is just amazing, man. I mean, I really could go. Now, the Galaxy Note 2 kind of done it, but... Um, but the Galaxy Note, the first Galaxy Note, it really held its own. Um, but this device, it holds its own for what it is. I mean, it really, really, really can make it through a workday for you, but you will find yourself charging it. Now, one thing I will applaud Apple on is the standby time. A lot of people say their standby time is 360 hours and 440 hours. This one really, take a look at it for yourself. Put your phone at 100%. I think I might have said this before in a different video. Put your phone at 100%. Don't leave it on the charge overnight. Make sure it's charged before you go to bed. I can bet money on it that when you wake up, no matter what you have sinking and everything, leave it as you normally would, it'll still be at 100%. So overall, for battery life on this device, I won't ramble on. You'll be really happy with the battery life. Standby on here is phenomenal, it, I, I gotta say. Now, applications. A lot of people already know that uh, Apple, you know, it's got all these applications and you know they have a lot of them in the app store that's all fine and dandy but i don't use a lot of applications a couple applications that i use all the time uh, cinemark fandango my banks paypal and, I, and my onstar you know i use that regularly twitter facebook i don't use but it's there because my some family members have facebook but twitter definitely on there a lot wordpress that's on every operating system Twitter's on every operating system. Um, I use Skype a lot with some family members, uh, Google Voice, but and, and obviously my favorite app right there, the Holy Bible, yes. But you know, pretty much all the applications that I need are now on every operating system. And Apple is, you know, hey, they've had them for a long time, so applaud them for always having the applications that people want. Now, camera. Camera, camera, camera. Wow, what can I say? The slow motion video, check that out if you haven't. I already put that up. Um, the camera got a new look, um, but you know it's, it's nothing that you're gonna run home about because your iPhone 5 has the same camera now features. So you know, hey, it's it. But I will say this: looks wise, eh, yeah, it's nothing to run home about. Functionality, uh, picture quality, video quality, I got to throw it out there. There's only a couple of phones that I place above the iPhone 5 or the 5S, whichever you, whatever you want to call it. This one has a dual LED flash on it compared to the iPhone 5 and a bigger lens, but it's the same time. It takes the same good quality of pictures. There's only a couple of phones that I'm going to put above that. I don't want to get into it. I've said them before. There are just a few of a couple of phones that I place above the iPhone's camera quality. The iPhone has great camera quality there are tons of different things you can do with the iPhone 5's camera uh, picture quality photo editing you got movie the iMovie is free now iPhoto is free now the camera on here is phenomenal don't sleep on the camera it's really really good I, I, I can't lie uh, one other thing I like about iOS let's jump back over to iOS real quick I like that you don't have to put all of your purchases on your device now you can stream everything from the cloud that is a fantastic uh, feature. That is fantastic. So, um, do I like the iPhone 5S? You know, again, not, not gonna go into every detail about the 5S. Do I like the iPhone 5S? Oh yeah, I like it. I use it every day. And even when I get my Galaxy Note 3 this week, this will still be the phone that I use for voice calls. I'm a Galaxy S3, a Galaxy, excuse me, that's a Galaxy S3? Galaxy Note 3 is strictly for media, data, texting, emails, internet because I'm going to get the best of that 5.7 inch HD display. Here's some places where I think Apple needs to step it up. We need, we still need an overhaul. We still need the option for 
it's it, it not a widget, just something live on this page here. Um, we, we still need a bigger battery. We still need uh, a different look. You know, if they will make this look different, you know, even if they were to keep this same design and make it taller and a little bit wider, a 4.5 inch or 4.7 inch, or maybe even a five inch, they would blow away a lot of the competition with the same old hardware, same old software. Um, I just think it's gonna be extremely dated next year. Now there's talk of a six inch, a five inch, there's all these things out there. But if they don't bring it next year, I think they're probably gonna still have a strong fan base, but they'll lose a few people because Android is clearly blown way past iOS in a lot of ways. So um, I think Apple needs to go ahead and give us some, some more features, a different look. Um, but you know, nonetheless, I, I, I recommend this phone to almost anybody. What do I rate this phone at? I give it a 9.6 because the operating system is still dated to me. The look of the phone is played out. <clears throat> Great quality hardware. Now don't take it. I give it a 9.6 out of 10. Quality product, um, strong drop test. It does a really good job if you drop it. I would suggest putting a case on it and get you the speaking um, glass screen protector. Um, but um, this device will stand the test of time. I know people that still have an iPhone 3GS and an iPhone 4, the, the, the first iPhone 4. I know people that still have it. Shout out to you, Mike. I know you, you're gonna watch this. <laughs> I'm not trying to bash on you though, but he still has an iPhone 4 and I mean, he's happy with it. If you're happy with it, stay with it. Um, but if you're a hardcore techie and you, you don't mind going out buying some of the new products, Apple, it's time to do something different. So, 9.6, do I recommend the device? Yes, I like all the new features just about. Um, I recommend this device. I will see you guys in the next video. I appreciate it. Be on the lookout for my Note 3 video whenever I get it. I'm probably just gonna go straight into a review. <laughs> you know, there's so many unboxings, but I don't know. We'll see you guys. Thanks. Please like this video. Can I get 100 likes for a change? I've gotten 100 likes on my BlackBerry Z videos, believe it or not, those videos. People love the BlackBerry Z10. Um, iPhone users, where are you at? Let's get, let's get 100 likes on here. I think that would be great. It's time to give away some more free stuff. All right.